Hey guys, it's Tennis with Tyler, and if you're watching this video, it's time for you to do a full swing every single time that you hit. I see too many players that go out on court and they're playing like this. They go to hit and they're thinking about getting the ball in, right? So they stop their stroke or they slice every single ball. When in practice, they're ripping all these shots, they're hitting really good shots, and it's totally different than when they play. That's why there's such a discrepancy between the way that you practice and the way that you play, you need to show what you know. So you need to make sure that you follow through every single time when you hit. If you struggle with following through, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you little simple tips and tricks to ensure that you follow through every single time. In order to follow through, that means you're swinging low to high doing the proper swing. So a great way to do it for your forehand is after you're done swinging, look what I'm going to do. You're going to think three things. Number one, is your elbow. If you can point your elbow towards your target, that's going to ensure that I did a full swing. Tip number two, what you're going to do is once you're done, you're going to point your butt cap. So you either can think elbow. Some people don't have as much flexibility though. You could think butt cap or after you're done swinging, you can think the edge of your racket is pointing up towards the sky. So again, when you hit your forehand, don't do this. I don't see elbow. I don't see a butt cap. I want to make sure again, once I'm done, full follow through, that I either have one of these cues that I just mentioned. The next thing for your backhand, one-hander or two-hander, okay? One-hander, you wanna make sure that you extend up. A great way to ensure that you follow through for a one-hander is once you're done, if it's the left side of the letter V. Now I'm a right-handed player, so I do it this way. If you're lefty, it's the left side, or sorry, the right side of the letter V. So once I'm done again, I want to be fully extended out here. I don't want to keep it short. Now, if you're two-handed backhand, what you're going to do is once you're done, instead of stopping it, watch what I'm going to do, boom. Instead of elbow, you're thinking elbows. So by pointing both my elbows up towards my target, that's going to ensure that, look, I have that follow through. Also, you can think the same thing as the forehand. You're pointing your butt cap, okay? So... Once you're done, boom, you're pointing your butt cap forward towards the target. The last way is, again, the tip of the racket. So for your forehand and your backhand, two-handed backhand or forehand, just make sure that you're going all the way across your body. Now for your serve, a lot of players struggle with their serves because, again, they go oh, here. They go here. They stop it. You need to go all the way across your body. So one thing that you can do is you can catch the racket under your opposite arm. So again, when I serve and I'm done, I'm catching the racket under my opposite arm. The second thing, I can point the tip of my racket. Look, it's pointing back towards me. Or the third thing, that butt cap tip again, I'm pointing the butt cap forward, okay? So again, I'm either following through and catching it across my body. I am pointing the tip of the racket backward or the butt cap forward. You need to stop going here and go all the way across, okay? Now, for the volleys, you're not supposed to follow through, right? You got to keep it solid. But for the forehand, backhand, and serve, if you can follow through and overhead, do the same thing as the serve, you're going to win so many more games and you're going to have way more effective shots, right? You're not going to win by going like this. You're only going to get so good. If you guys want to improve in tennis, you have to make sure that you follow through every single time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Have a good one, guys.